the next pair palato alveolar fricatives here the articulating organs involve the palate or the roof of the mouth as well as the alveolar ridge So here the articulation is like this, the tip or blade of the tongue approaches the upper portion of the teeth ridge, the post alveolar portion. At the same time, the front part of the tongue raises towards the hard palate, okay, this is the hard palate. So the air from the lungs reaches the oral cavity, the soft palate is raised preventing the a nasal passage of air and the air escapes through the narrow gap between the front part of the tongue and the hard palate producing audible friction. So we have two palato alveolar sounds sh and r, sh, r. Okay. So the tip of the tongue reaching the post alveolar position, the topmost position of the alveolar ridge. The front part of the tongue raises towards the hard palate. The air escaping through the narrow gap between the hard palate and the front part of the tongue producing audible friction or a hissing sound as sh and r. The occult cords are lying far apart for sh making it a oiseless palato alveolar sound alveolar fricative sound okay. fricative coming to r the occult cords lie close together producing phonation making it a oist palato alveolar fricative sh occurs initially as sheep sheet shell shout ship medially as fashion lotion ashes portion, social and finally as cash, wish, bush, brush, rush. R occurs initially as genre, medially as pleasure, measure, usual, casual, treasure and finally as mirage garage 